Brian three. All right, guys, welcome back to the Remote Cycle Channel. Today we are attempt number three, I think, of trying to get side panels made. The first two have not gone very well. Um, I, I may have lost my rag once or twice. Fucking shit! Maybe a little bit more, but since then I have acquired a 3D printer, which you can see a link for somewhere uh, in my my in the in the screen. To have a look at my experiences so far with it, and it's been quite quite intense. Um, just pretty steep learning curve, a lot of things to learn with that. Again, not necessarily everything works um, when you're when you're hoping it will. For example, like uh, you get halfway through a print and. The nozzle would clog or you would run out of filament as in this here so this year i have 3d printed my mold rather than dicking around with 3d printing a plug covering it dealing with tooling gel coat and then completely losing my rag how strong is that fiberglass by the way <laughs> i did not think it was gonna i thought it was gonna crack under the the sheer might of rage but it just just held up which is a good thing so so i have 3d printed this side panel here and the reason it looks like a zebra is because I ran out of filament really quick uh, it's actually quite dense when you see this thing um, I took my if you look on screen I took my original design and then made a mold box around that on, on Fusion 360 and then once that mold box was completed I put it into uh, Cura the slicing program for the 3d printer and it came out with a, a very long print time I think original one was like four days or something so quickly realized i wasn't going to spend a lot of the time to do that so i upgraded to a one mil nozzle for my 3d printer and that seemed to make it go a little bit quicker <laughs> That's the 3D printer and how it works. So, now after a couple of days of shitting myself thinking that this thing was going to not work, I've, I managed to change filament twice and end up with something. Uh, the, the 3D printing software recommended that I print support material, which was... Um, I don't know if it needed it or not. So I'm just looking down at my bike, bike battery for my Indian, which is having a complete mare. Come back to that. Anyway, I didn't know if it was going to work or not, but... Um, it seems that it printed a bloody great channel in here that I had to remove and my experience with moving some support material before wasn't the best however also using a one mil I think that the, the, the distance between the layers is like 0.5 of a mil of a mil and it's left what feels like not the smoothest surface especially this this top corner here so before I even consider putting uh, some release agent in here and some wax I think I'm gonna just spend a little bit of time sanding this down and then what you'll see is me cutting up the fiberglass, dumping the fiberglass in, um, and then just leaving it. And then we're going to come back, and then hopefully we'll have our finish, finished part direct from this mold. Um, now, few hesitations. I'm not 100% sure. I think we're going to be okay. But there's a thing called draft angle, which is sometimes meant to incorporate into 3D molds, especially things that start to get a little bit bigger and more complex, which means you kind of want to have a little bit of an angle on the sides so that it's it's almost a V profile, a very subtle V profile. But um, it's it's enough to just allow wet when things to come out. If you, if for example, if this went the other way, there's no way you'd get it out because it's essentially just locked itself in. So think about flipping that on its head; it gives it an easier way to come out. Um, I can't remember if I modeled when I modeled this. It was a bit bit complex to model. Um, I can't remember if I extruded or if I lofted between two profiles. I honestly can't remember how I did it. So, um, <laughs> fingers crossed it works. If not, I've also redesigned the mold. I know I'm gonna have to make this for the other side. So I've re redesigned it to be more efficient. So this is obviously pretty blocky. It doesn't need to be as blocky. I've actually modeled it so it models the profile of the shape a little bit easier so that this is nice and flat and I'll be able to put fiberglass in it and, and be nice and, nice and happy. But in reality, 
that doesn't bother me so much as the time taken and the resources needed to print this thing and because it is quite big and chunky it doesn't need to be as big and chunky as it is so, so yeah what you'll see me do is um file this like um sand this down a little bit i'm just going to run through the the ranges of different files uh different sanding paper especially this corner because it's a little bit of a, a little bit untidy um <laughs> the rage is starting already once I've done that, I'll, I'll cut some fiberglass to size and then we'll just do three layers, three layers of fiberglass in here. Um, I'm going to wear long sleeves, gloves. Uh, on a side note, Jesus Christ. Gloves. Oh, because of some global pandemic, everyone decides to need gloves. I just paid 23 bastarding pounds for these gloves. Mr. Zebra, go! that was stressful. It always is. Um, a few layers in there. So we'll come back and I don't know, I'll come check on this in a few hours and then see how it does but whew. okay so we've left this a few hours and it actually feels like it's kind of starting to set. Well it is set. So I'm going to try and demold this because I'm impatient. It's, it's pretty much set now. So I'm going to get some gloves on and I'm going to try and use these little wedges to see if we can get this thing out. And fingers crossed, I don't lose my shit. Please work. I don't have the enthusiasm to do this another way. These are just laminate flooring wedges. I've seen them use smoother ones before, but I think these look like they could work.
I didn't ever think this was going to last. I thought it would, it might get lucky, but... Ah. That blue shit is not Smurf juice. <laughs> it's a PVA stuff, but... Um, so unfortunately, yes, the... The mold didn't make it. However, I was having my doubts about the integrity of the mold. You're meant to print it in a way that the lines allow you to release it. So if you had gone horizontal, it, it's quite a difficult shape, but my theory being the lines going this way, it's not gonna bite. If I printed it with the lines stacked up the way, it might have got even more stuck. But I think the layer height probably didn't help me. It probably added a bit of resistance, but also when you look at the mold, the mold's probably, this is my, naivety and, and, and learning how to do this, but the mold's only 15% like infill and the, the wall thickness is not very thick at all. So I think if I was to remake this, I would actually, because it's quite a strong shape, I would probably, I would probably once I'm finished and happy, add a little bit more of a draft angle all the way around, so it's more like a V. But also, I think instead of dicking around making a nice square mold, I would just spend all this extra effort making this shell like two, three, four mil thick all the way around. Um, but I mean, I used almost, I mean, I used almost a whole reel for that. So these things, they're time consuming and they're quite starting to rack up. They're about 20 quid getting all that shit done. However, I now have a, something, uh, I'm happy. I, it needs cleaned up, it needs cleaned up. Oh God, dog's kicking off. Right. Leave my neighbor alone, Jesus Christ. So, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna let this dry, I mean it is dry. <laughs> Rubbish! 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 I killed it. <laughs> Jesus, what an asshole. What a complete utter asshole. Right, um, I need to let this dry, harden. GoPro shot itself, cool. Stop singing its praises, it's been sh shit. So, uh, fiberglass, the most itchiest shit in the world. So, yes, I need to let this cure a, a, a little bit harder first. Surface finish looks pretty good. This is just, I'll clean all this blue shit off tomorrow and then I'll start trimming it and get it offered up to the bike and then figure out how I'm going to mount it. But, but well, let's see if we can just do a quick. Nah, it's not, it's not going to go in with these, these little off cuts at the moment, but progress is progress. And I am happy because I didn't finish a video by smashing the shit out of something I spent all weekend making. So onwards and upwards. Next video, we'll be doing some other shit. 3D printed stuff that's starting to move forward a little bit. So probably look at this side panel very, very soon as well. So until next time, guys, take it easy. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And see you soon. <laughs>